What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on June 24th, 2023. Now, I am going to start off with some figures that are available right now, but throughout this video, you will see a lot of figures that you actually can purchase right now. So starting off with Hot Topic, you see that the Blacklight Casey Jones is starting to show up in stores. It's been on and off of the website, so if you prefer to purchase online, you may have to be patient with it, basically. Um, also, they have Stitch with Turtles showing up in stores in the SpongeBob and Patrick Best Friends 2-pack. As far as commons are concerned, you can be on the lookout for the latest Jujutsu Kaisen pops, the my latest My Hero Academia pops. Although I will say with the Hamika Toga villain hideout um, deluxe there, you will have to look a little bit deeper to find that one. Not every store is going to carry that because I think it is considered a specialty series. Um, you also see here Cocaine Bear, Bear with the leg is showing up and 21 Savage is showing up in stores. Some other figures you can be on the lookout for include the Eric Draven pops that you see pictured here. Of course, um, Eric Draven being the character from The Crow, and there are two different ones. Both of these are commons. The latest um, pops based on the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series are showing up in stores. Now, Lil Sweet, I remember when this pop first um, was, was coming out. The only way to get it, I think, was with some purchases of actually Dr. Pepper. There was a whole thing about it. Um, a lot of people really went crazy for it <laughs> and then immediately lost interest not long after that. But uh, yeah, this pop finally is available directly on Dr. Pepper's official website. And then the PX Previews exclusive Last Ronin Pop, you can um, get a pre-order in for this one with various retailers. Um, on some websites, though, it is selling out pretty quickly. So if you're interested in that one, um, you know, you should go ahead and get an order in for it. On Funko.com right now, you can get the three liter Groot soda, which does have that chase there. Also, the Beach Mickey Mouse and Beach Minnie Mouse sodas, each of those does have a black light chase. And then the Bear with Bag based on Cocaine Bear is available. So all of these right now are on Funko.com. And I did want to point out another item that I saw on Funko.com that kind of caught my attention. It is this Optimus Prime Pop Tea that you see here, which is actually low in stock. So that one will be selling out pretty soon here. You also see here that the latest WWE Pops are showing up in stores. You can get those with various online retailers as well. And there is another Eric Draven pop on the way, which is going to be a Funko.com exclusive. In fact, everything you're seeing here, these are upcoming Funko.com releases. So we have here Bibbo from Killer Clowns. I will be going for that one. I'm, I'm basically becoming a completionist with Killer Clowns as far as Funko Pops are concerned. You also see here Julio Rodriguez on the way, another Ted Lasso pop, and Eddie Van Halen as an exclusive, you know, variant here. So yeah, all of these are on the way. Of course, with them being Funko.com releases, there are no specific release dates for these right now a couple of random bits of information here so of course the fun days event is coming up it um coincides with sdcc so um yeah with the fun days event the theme is camp fun days i have covered this previously and i just want to run through the uh, mascots that are going to be with this event so there will be the fun and for forgive me if i mispronounce anything here i'm not sure the actual intended um pronunciation of all these names but we have here the fun amok bears the chesapeake eagles the protoma wolves and the papawaka lumberjacks so those are the four mascots and of course we can expect to see pops based on those mascots and then each person that attends the event and by the way the event is um you know that's already taken care of as far as the tickets and everything um they're already sold so um there are no additional tickets to this event even with the giveaway that um funko had on the funko app basically that's been handled as well so yeah as far as i know there's no other way to get into the event at this point um, but yeah, the people that attend, of course, they'll get a mascot pop. They'll get four mystery pops, two mystery sodas. I'm sure there'll be some other items as well. Now, in the past couple of years, Funko has done a box for the general public based around fun days. And it would include different um, Freddy Funko pops and a mascot pop. I have not heard anything about that for this year just yet. If I learn any information about that, of course, I will share that with you all in a future video. So the glow in the dark kiss pops that you see here, these have uh, been available for a while, but then they were kind of tough to find online. They are available right now with Amazon and Walmart. Um, some hefty prices though, so I would say compare the prices, you know, shop around a little bit. Um, check these retailers, see if you can find them anywhere else. Um, definitely compare prices to find the best deal with those particular pops. The Golden Sour Patch Kid is showing up in its sugar stores. I still have not seen it listed on their website just yet, but you can track it down if you have one of those stores in your area. Here you get a better look at the Kikuman Soy Sauce Pop. I did share this previously. I just wanted to share this official look at that particular figure. 
the Target exclusive finale battle friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is starting to show up in stores. That one should be pretty easy to get if you are interested. And focusing in particular on Marvel here, you see that the Black Light Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Pops will be available to pre-order with Target on Monday, June 26th. Those should be pretty easy to get a hold of if you're interested in them. I kind of like the coloring on some of these, but I'm just not sure if I'll add them to my collection. Not just yet. I really got to see them up close before I make that decision. Uh, definitely let me know what you think about this set here. The Entertainment Earth exclusive Gwen Stacy is available for pre-order that has a September release and of course their Mary Jane figure is still listed as well if you're interested in that one. The Facet Spider-Man pop should release on Funko.com on Monday, June 26th. The PX Previews exclusive Wolverine comic cover is available on Funko.com. You can get that with other retailers as well but it might be easier for some of you just to go with Funko.com while they have it listed there. And the Target exclusive Captain America comic cover is starting to show up in some Target stores. Here we have these black light Slurpee pops, which are showing up at 7-Eleven stores. I don't think they have it on their website, at least not the last time that I checked their website. Um, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to go for these. I do have a 7-Eleven in my area, so I might take a look. And um, may, it might be the price that makes my decision for me. I'll see about that. Uh, let me know if you've actually seen those in stores yourself yet. And, you know, do you intend to pick those up? You see here that there is a new Toucan Sam pop on the way. It's been a while since Funko did one. And I still remember when that... Uh, metallic one first dropped how people were so stressed over that and everything over missing out on that one but yeah we do have a new one here on the way so you can add that to your collection if you don't have one of the previous ones and you see here that there's more on the way with killer clowns like i said i'm, I'm really enjoying collecting killer clowns here so i'm glad that funko is doing so much with this property so you see here we here, see here that we had the baby clown on the way we also have fat so on the way as well i'm definitely getting those adding those to my collection as a matter of fact i went ahead and pre-ordered those with entertainment earth but those are commons of course you can pre-order them with various retailers Focusing on anime here for a moment, so you see the Shinobu figure, which has a really awesome design. I love the look of that, especially the base there with the um, butterflies and everything. That is a pretty cool looking figure there. Um, that is going to be a Funko.com exclusive, so of course no date for it just yet. Uh, we'll find out pretty much the day of probably when it's going to be available. With Digimon, you see that they have two new pops on the way here, um, and these are common figures you can pre-order with various retailers. And then as far as Entertainment Earth exclusives are concerned, you see that they have these two figures here from Naruto that you can go ahead and pre-order right now, and um, both of them are up for August release. Now this is a pretty cool looking set here. Um, it's a, basically an a anime moment, you might as well say, from Demon Slayer. Here we have Tanj Tanjiro and Nezuko versus the Temple Demon. I actually forgot all about the Temple Demon because they took care of him so quickly, so early in the series. But yeah, this is actually a Hot Topic exclusive that has a mid-August release, so you can go ahead and pre-order that if you're interested. Now the Pokemon Center, they did release the Pearlescent Charmander. Um, I saw some people asking, you know, what's the difference with this one? It has a pearlescent paint job to it, that kind of shiny looking paint job going on with it. It's currently sold out on the Pokemon Center. Sometimes that site does get restocks. I don't know if it's going to restock or not, but, um, you know, if I learn anything about a restock, I will try to share that information with you all. But for right now, it is sold out. Hot Topic has been doing a pop of the week, um, and that means a discount on one of their exclusives. So in this case, in this case, it is this figure that you see here based off of Oran High School Host Club. So that particular figure right now is $7 on their website. Um, you can check for it in store as well. Some stores may actually have it. And then you see here also that the Haiku figures are starting to show up in stores. All the ones pictured here are commons. These Funko games here are available for pre-order with various retailers. So you see here that they have the Disney Villains Sinister Spoons game, the Cranium Big Brain Detective game, the Disney Pixar Cars Launch and Race game, and the Cranium Hullabaloo game there as well. The Goku and Krillin 2-pack, which I did share with you all previously, is already arriving in some Hot Topic stores. It's not really supposed to be sold just yet. The street date on it is July 5th, but uh, don't be surprised if you actually see that one around already. And then the Barnes & Noble exclusive Flocked Fancy Groot is available on their website right now. And of course, if you have a Barnes & Noble in your area, you might actually see it in stores. Here are the Ted Lasso Pops. Um, the common figures are actually already showing up in some stores. And the exclusives that you see here, you can get pre-orders in for them. 
And then also along with Ted Lasso, there is a party game and there's a 500 piece puzzle as well that you can order. Here are the slam cover pops. I did share most of these previously, so I'm not going to spend much time with these. I still got to say, though, that Steph Curry one is definitely my favorite out of these. And of course, here's another look at some MLB pops that you can order right now. And then whatever happened to Baby Jane, I've never seen this. I've, I've just heard like talk of this movie previously. And of course, um, that name is very familiar to me. Like I said, I've heard many people mention it. But yeah, these pops I did. I think I shared, I shared a look at these previously with you all. But this is the official look at them. You know, the glams here. Of course, you see that there are the black and white chase variants. So uh, you can go ahead and order these online. And with some retailers, they actually will give you a le legitimate chance at the chases. You can try your luck in stores as well. But we know that can be kind of difficult but yeah these are available right now and then I want to focus on some music pops again again I did share some early looks at these figures but we do have some official looks at them now so with these Snoop Dogg pops on um, the the common size one that you see there in the upper left and then the jumbo size Snoop those are actually showing up in some stores already and there are some websites that are ready to ship those out the other Snoop that you see here where he's rocking the hoodie with the cover for his first album on it that is actually going to be a doghouse exclusive so that's going to be in his official store there's another look at the Erica Badu pop. I did cover that one previously. Here's another look, another early look at the Ja Rule pop that's on the way. Then here we had the Thriller pop album. And um, I did share this previously, but now we actually get a better look at the actual figure in there. And I love that they have the detail of the baby tiger on his knee, which um, that's, you know, that's true to the full Thriller cover if you've never seen that before i know a lot of people are used just to the cover where it's kind of cut off and you can't see the baby tiger but yeah he actually did have a baby tiger on his knee so i love that funko actually has that detail along with it and yes the thriller album already is actually available i don't think the smooth criminal figure that i shared with you all previously is available just yet I, at least i haven't seen it just yet but yeah the thriller album you can go ahead and add to your collection so there is yet another MTV moon person on the way. I feel like this has got to be like the fifth one at this point, maybe. Um, but yeah, we got another one here on the way. We also have Lenny Kravitz on the way. And I would be really surprised if this is the only Lenny Kravitz pop that we get. I would I, I really feel like they're going to do another one of Lenny Kravitz at some point, maybe even in the near future. Uh, with Ed Sheeran, I do want to point out that his common figure actually is showing up in store, so that's going to be pretty easy to get a hold of. And then there is a PX Previews exclusive diamond variant of that same figure. I know that's listed on Entertainment Earth, but you can get that with some other retailers as well if you prefer that diamond variant. And then these figures here, I did share these with you previously, but again, these are official looks at these figures. So we have Aretha Franklin, of course, we got Rosalia, Shakira as a standalone pop, but then there's the pop album as well that you can get. Uh, Mariah Carey has another pop album on the way, the Rainbow Pop album there. And um, I don't think I shared this previously, didn't have a look at it before. This Joan Jett gold figure is also available. So yeah, a lot of these figures that you're seeing, like I said, if they're not already available, they'll be available very soon. And all these items here are common, so gonna be pretty easy to get a hold of and you can do some orders online if you are interested <laughs> gonna wrap things up here with the rumor mill and by the way if you've heard about some figures um, up and coming that you don't see listed here just remember I may have covered them already in a, a recent Funko News video so especially if you're new to the channel you know it might be good to take the time to go back and check out some of those other recent Funko News videos but let me go ahead and get into this rumor mill here so first of all it seems that there could be a Disney soda six pack with cooler on the way which of course would be um, just exclusive to Funko.com and I've been wondering when they were gonna do another one of these because they did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles they did Scooby-Doo I actually really like the idea of this. Um, I really want to see them do even more of these in the future. Let me know your ideas. What would you like to see as a, a six packs, um, you know, with the cooler for the sodas? What would you like to see? Um, with Biddy Pop, um, we could see a Toy Story set and a Marvel set as well. I think I mentioned Marvel previously, um, but it seems like those more than likely will be on the way. There should be a Deadpool comic cover on the way. A Pokemon Starters Deluxe Moment could be on the way. I wouldn't be surprised if they do more than one set like that, but we'll see what happens. With Retro Toys, we could see the Chatter Phone, and I've always found the Chatter Phone to be a little bit creepy. I think that's why we've even you know, seen that pop up in horror movies, but we could get the Chatter Phone. Also, Humpty Dumpty, Lil Snoopy, and the Little People House. 
We could get some Godzilla and Kong figures. I'm not gonna read the full list here. You um, see it here on the screen. I'm just gonna say, I don't, I'm not sure what exactly it would be based on because um, I don't know if it's gonna be based on the movies, like previous movies or upcoming movie or the anime. Like there's just so much out there with Godzilla. If you, if you get any references here, please fill me in. But like I said, I'm really not sure exactly what it's all about at this point. Uh, with Killer Clowns, we could see Jojo the Clown Zilla, and that could actually be an exclusive, maybe even with Hot Topic. Not 100% sure yet. We'll see what happens though. Um, even though we just got a bunch of Ted Lasso pops, there could be a, another full wave on the way, and you can read through the characters listed there. Uh, we could see um, figures based on 1883, which, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's related to um, Yellowstone, like a Yellowstone spinoff. I haven't watched Yellowstone, so forgive me if I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, Flavor Flav could have another pop on the way, this one being based on Flavor of Love. <laughs> that should be interesting to see. Uh, I know the chorus that I already shared that Aretha Franklin pop with you. We could see at least one variant of her on the way. As far as slam covers are concerned, we could get one um, with LeBron James, Devin Booker, and Trey Young. There should be uh, plenty more Naruto figures on the way. You see that full list here. And with One Piece, another full wave could be on the way also. I'm not going to read through all the characters' names. I'm not familiar with all of them. I'd rather not butcher them. But if you're familiar with the franchises, the series there, then I'm sure you recognize those names. So, yeah, that's it for right now as far as rumors are concerned. Like I said, I've shared a lot of rumors recently, though. So, please go back and check the previous uh, Funko News videos, the recent Funko News videos, if you want to see even more rumors. And when I learn more official information about these releases, and then, of course, I will share that with you all. Definitely want to hear from you all. Which rumors do you hope pan out to be true? What else did you see in this video that you'd like to add to your collection? If you haven't done so already, please drop me a like. That's an easy way to show support, not just to me, but to all YouTubers. You know, please make sure that you like the videos. Thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out. And I will talk to you all again real soon.